Mm. Man, what to do, what to do, what to do. Man, I'm just taking a walk, man. Uh, say, man. Out here, Miami. Uh, man. Look good, feel good. Man, it look good and it feel good. Y'all get it? Say, man, all I can say is this here. Uh, it's always a blessing to be able to get up in the morning. Just take a nice little walk, man. Uh, that's my your business. Stay on top of what you got to stay on top of. And just stay focused. Now, this is what I want to speak about. Uh, I was asked a couple of questions. And uh, in the process of me being asked a couple of questions, one of the questions came up about the situation that happened in uh, Miss, I mean, uh, Minnesota, I mean uh, Memphis. So I'm gonna say this, right? When I say this, I want y'all to really understand every word that come out of my mouth so we won't have no misunderstanding. Y'all get it? Now, what I want to say is this here. Every day I get on this internet, I'm really speaking the same language every single day. And they say, man, listen. Ask me what I care about when I say that we live in a time where we okay with destruction. We okay with the neighborhood being destroyed, homie. We okay with that, right? So we okay just to be able to wake up and see how they destroying our neighborhoods. We okay when we sitting around and watching the gang members bully civilians in our neighborhood. We okay with that, right? So that's cool, huh? Same way I feel about that, the same way I feel about this situation. This situation right here is a wake-up call. This situation is a wake-up call for our people to start realizing the reason why they continue to make moves like this is because there's nothing nobody going to do about it. When they sit back and, and they look, and they look back and they see what goes on in our community as a whole, they realize there's no bond in their community, so why we should even give a you-know-what about them? Just think about what I'm saying. Why should they give a you-know-what about us when we don't even care about ourselves? And I mean that, homie. We gon' you got people there to get mad and upset because that's their feelings. You know, that's, that's their feelings. Their feelings is making them get angry. Their feelings is making them be upset. This their feelings, homie. They feelings got them feeling a certain type of way. But what they actions doing, they actions ain't showing nothing that's gonna really stop what's really going on. Because in order for us to stop what's going on with them, we gotta stop what's going on with us. We practice and we teach this every day. But nobody wanna listen. Because every social media site they don't want to post nothing but drama. They ain't posting nothing when it come down to what can we do to come together and make some things happen. Ain't nobody posting that. They ain't even talking about that. They don't care about that. So when people ask me, dang, what you think? Man, I think the same way I thought yesterday. Man, we going to keep on destroying each other until we, until we are extinct. Remember, I told y'all that. They trying to make us extinct. 
Look at what's going on with this Fed now crisis. Look at what's going on, homie. Everybody know it's cool. Everybody know what's happening with the Fed now, but guess what everybody doing? They steady using it. They steady using it because they feel like they can't stop. They feel like they can't stop. That's how they feel, homie. So my thing is this, I'm gonna say this. Get out your feelings, man. Let's start putting in actions. But the first thing we must do is this here, homie. We got to start putting in actions in our community. We got to quit accepting everything. We got to just quit accepting any and everything in our community. When we stop doing that, remember I tell y'all, they'll stop doing that. They'll stop doing that. How can we bond a connection with each other when all we're doing is competing against each other? Just think about what I'm saying. I'm hearing these leaders come out talking when it's a high-profile case. But I don't hear these leaders talk when Tamir Rice. I don't hear these leaders talk when the little homie that just drove down the street the little baby got hit up on the block. I don't hear the leaders talking. I don't hear no leaders talk. So my thing is, are they just here to talk when it's high profile? I don't know. Are they just supposed to talk when it's high profile? Huh. Ain't that a question we need to ask? So people want to know what's happening. I say what I say. Man, yeah, I want them... Yeah, them same laws that done that. Listen, this was gonna this 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 what I'm this this what finna hit me right here, y'all. This what get me with y'all. A lot of y'all guys, street guys, tough guys, live by the cold guys. Get what y'all sit around and say. Man, I hope. Man, I hope that they give them laws a million years. Why do y'all hope they get allows a million years? I thought y'all were living by a cold. Y'all see how that cold go away? Y'all see how that cold go away? You know why? Because a lot of these boys don't want to put work in. They only want to attack the one that they feel that is weak. They don't want to, that's, that's, they only want to attack. If they feel like you are weak, they want to attack the weak. Just remember I told y'all that. They only want to sit around and focus on attacking the weak. That's it. They ain't sitting around trying to attack the people. You know what I'm saying? That needs to be attacked. So, yeah. So with that being said, man, all I got to say is this here. A lot of y'all be picking and choosing when y'all want to be righteous and when y'all want to be street. <laughs> I don't get it. Make up your mind. When you want to be righteous and when you want to be street. <laughs> When you want to live by the street code and when you want to live by the righteous code. Yeah. Let's make up our mind. Let's make up our mind, man. That's one thing I got to say. Let's make up our mind. And the day we make up our mind is the day we can start making powerful decisions. But until then, guess what? We still got to keep going through the same thing over and over and over again.
the message is starting to get out there. The movement is starting to uh, get big and bigger. But I'm gonna say this. Once we start educating the youth and we start giving back to the youth, remember I told y'all this, the day we start back educating the youth and giving back to the youth is the day it's gonna be a change. But until then, but until then, guess what? This is what we got to go through. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share to the Game Related Podcast. I need everybody to like, share, and subscribe to the Game Related Podcast. Let's do it right now.